Mel and Brad set their sights on two great hunts, and knowing the competition among the guides, I bet they're both eager to deliver the best goods of the morning. Mel wraps up the specks and ducks fast, but had trouble with the snows. Brad matches Mel's hunt for all in all, a great morning for our guests. Jason chases snows in the afternoon and puts specks they couldn't shoot on their toes. It ain't always about the kill. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Just left the lodge, um, it's about five o'clock, so just heading out for our evening spot. We're in good shape, permission-wise. We got a bunch of options for tomorrow. Uh, targeting one, Mel's targeting one. We kind of left the other target open-ended. We're not too sure which one we're gonna use there, so. Just left a little early, gonna start at the far end. And we got one hunt quite far north, so I'm gonna just start there. That's a snow goose hunt. They should fly a little earlier and then come back to the very south end to catch my uh, couple honker hunt options, one with ducks, which maybe could be an option for the morning. So try to get back down here and get a, get a number on how many are in there. I could see uh, I could see 100 this morning. I have a feeling there was more kind of behind a rolling hill. I couldn't get a good, a good look at them. So that's the plan. We'll go to the very north end and start there and then fly back down. So we'll hopefully catch them going in at honker flight time, which is an hour, so that's the plan. Yeah, I was coming down the highway going to another hunt, but uh, seeing a bunch of birds uh, looked like they were going in. I was right, they are going in. It's one of our better landowners. Uh, it's not real big right now, but then it's early and there's lots of birds coming off the roost. So I'll probably phone and get it. I'm just gonna flip around here, take a little glass on the situation. The wind is uh, out of the southwest. I don't have to bust that roost. Oh, that's an awesome thing. Well, you don't disturb any of the birds. So this is a mile long field. The roost is in the corner on another piece of property right at the juncture of four fields so and we're within two three hundred yards of the of being exactly a mile away pointing the opposite way from the roost couldn't ask for it any better because they're going to come out of the roost they're going to hook and come straight into you so it, it, as far as this situation goes, it, this is a good one. So yeah, I'm here at my target. Now it's getting to the witching hour now. It's looking good, so I think I'm in for the morning. Should be, should be a good one. Snow, specks, ton of ducks. Uh, I think, well, Mel's hunting the exact same thing, so it won't be a hard coin toss. I mean, we're both going on about the same thing. Lots of snows. Lots of specks and uh, definitely a lot of ducks, so should be a good one. Mel and Brad have two really big combos ready to rock, which is really good. And um, you know, it's one of those days where the birds will fly all day, and if we get that precipitation, we might not end up end up hunting in the afternoon. So I've already briefed the hunters. I said, dress warm and get ready to hunker down. They might be out there all day. So and we'll see how it shakes down tomorrow, hopefully really well. Well, we're out here this morning. Our wind isn't doing what we want yet. Uh, we set up for the wind that's forecasted. We got all our decoys out. Uh, what we got is a big main body with uh, flappers, a couple of really long legs. It looks like quite a mess of decoys right now. The main body is big. 
Uh, we may have to do some adjustments. We'll see what the birds tell us, but I think we're gonna be fine. We got a big enough main body that I'm able to, to move it quite easily in a hurry. So I think we'll be fine. We got some ducks on the day roost right beside us. Uh, thought I had it cleared out last night. I guess I didn't have it quite cleared out, but uh, we'll be okay. It'll be good. Behind us, behind us. Get down, guys. Hey, hey, geese, geese behind us. Come on, get in. Get down. Put your hood on. Okay, guys. Kill. Kill that one, Jay. Kill that one. Duck's coming. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him, kill him. Kill him, boys, kill him. Okay, one more goose and we're gonna do a big pickup in one hell of a hurry. We don't wanna miss any opportunity. To the left, to the left. Kill, kill. kill them geese when you got a chance, otherwise you won't get them. We got 18 ducks, that's all I need to know. We need 18 left? No, we got 18, we need 22 more. That is some, some, some can. I need one more. Oh, there's a single duck, guys. Clock it, clock it, clock it. Go grab, go grab that duck. <laughs> Kill him. Take him if you want him, Brad. Let it, watch these. Kill him, guys. Kill him. <laughs> watch those singles co coming in. You got a duck coming from behind you, guys. I think that's it for duck. Let's pick up and see what we got. Well, it's been a great morning. Uh, right from the get-go, before uh, I even got back to the spread, the boys had five specks down and 15 or 16 ducks got in the spread. We got the specks done probably by 7.30, uh, ducks done by 8. And the guys can shoot, man. They're shooting 40-yard birds like nothing. and. It's kind of a pleasure because you don't, you know, when they're 40 yards with these guys, you can call them because they're they're gonna they're gonna get them. So snows didn't do it. They went, they came out, got to the edge of the field, and they all went west. I don't know. Maybe they heard some banging. You don't know what goes on, especially with them in early season. There was a lot more specks and ducks here than there was snows. So we got what we come for for sure. Uh, it'd have been nice to get some bonus white ones, but. Uh, didn't happen and that that's fine too
Looks good. Great hunt. Well, the ducks did it well. Geese, we kind of got a little bit blobbed. They're just coming over us a bit. They're not uh, setting up. We got, uh, we got some shooting, but... For ones right in front, like doing it well, maybe a couple flights. Come out a little clumpy this morning though. Hoping to be a little more broken up. I don't know, we could have our best flights now if it's just a little one, so. Go, 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 straight up. Take them, boys, take them. Don't let them get away. Oh. Hey, real still. Go, guys. Go, boys, go, go. Get two up. Well, look, those, those cows moved off now. Crazy. Crazy. We're having to run cows out of the decoy. Oh, well, there's cows in the field, which tends to be a problem for some reason. The shooting doesn't bug cows. They tend to be attracted to it, so I've had to run them out of the lane a couple times. But we had no farm dog this morning, which I was expecting, so no farm dog, 30 cows. We pushed them off now, so of course they were in the lane while we were had a couple or a few big flights. So. Oh well, we're shooting, we're killing. You, you, you enjoy that? Enjoy cows? No. <laughs> You did a great job running them off, though. Thank you. Well, I do what I can. <laughs> a little bit easier to bring those down. Yeah, no doubt. It was better than one. Ready, 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 go, guys. Go, go, go. Two more. Go. <laughs> they are acting correctly. Hey. Nice shooting down there, boys. <laughs> the robo's on. Good luck, boys. Good luck. The robo's on? Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't change the thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Real still. Mm. Go guys. <laughs> now we're talking. We know, we know, we know, we know. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> nice, oh. nice. <laughs> they fall a little Woo! easier than those other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going? Go, 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 go. So we're packing up here now about 10 o'clock. We, uh, I don't know, we got 23 honks, three speckle bellies, 35 ducks. Ducks were a bit of a surprise. I didn't know exactly how many were in here. I didn't think that many, but uh, we we took advantage of what was here. We shot well on the ducks. Uh, honkers kind of come a lot at once, so big flights, no wind, kind of floated over the bush a bunch. Uh, didn't really want to do it well. We had a few good flights early, and we're capitalized on those. And then uh, 
And then we caught a couple of good flights coming back. I think we had one flight, we knocked eight down on the way back. So the later flights that come back, uh, that approach just did it real well. So uh, all in all, a good hunt though. I mean, 26 geese, 35 ducks. Good morning. Just gonna pack up and get home for a little breakfast. Oh yeah, you're right. He goes, that's amazing. And it was a, just another good morning we had, right? He goes, oh, well, like, what, like, what are you gonna do tomorrow? I go, we're just gonna do it again, right? <laughs> and then we had something like this, all Canada's. He goes, well, that's a postcard. I go, just another yeah, postcard. Yeah, every day. All right, well, the guys went out this morning and they uh, shot all their ducks and they shot all their geese this morning, dark geese. So it was a great morning. So that puts me in this evening. I've been watching this uh, big snow goose hunt and uh, everything looks good. So uh, we're gonna be going in there uh, tonight to, uh, to shoot some white geese for the boys and uh, go from there. So far it's looking good. So hopefully it's a good one. Okay, so we got our blinds in the made feed band, right? Wind's going down this way. Then what we're gonna do is do two, one long leg here by 100 yards down, and then a short leg. The short leg there, because the birds are approaching from my left side, from the roost. Don't want a long leg there, so they'll cut in, hit that leg, and should come right up the pipe. We'll put a couple clone decoys out, and uh, some uh, loudspeakers, some e-callers, and Go from there, we'll put out some full bodies within the, the spread, and we'll have some fun, hopefully. Reload, reload, there's one coming on the left. All right, go, 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 go. On the right, yeah. Get ready. All right, go, 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 go. Get ready, watch those ones above us. Okay, go. Okay, go, go on him. Get ready. Okay, go, 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 go.
Okay, hit him, go! On the left! Ready, 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 ready. No, no, let him come. Here he comes. One shot, you guys get ready. Okay, go, one shot. That was an expensive bird. Lots of shots into him. morning we got our limit of uh, specks and ducks and uh, so we came out for the snow geese this afternoon and did pretty good I don't know how much we ended up with but uh, probably good 40 or 50 but uh, excellent really enjoyed it okay, at the beginning of the hunt the specks came out first and we couldn't shoot any because they got them all this morning but man we were covered up there landing on top of the guys, I'm talking two feet landing. It was awesome, and you know, flocks of 20, 30, and so that was neat. And you know, it's not all about the, the shooting and the killing. You know, sometimes it's, you know, just watching those birds decoy like that, it's, it's incredible. Lots of doubles and singles. They came from the roost real high. They were, oh, I don't know, a mile up there. And uh, we had some groups work us come down. Then they started lighting up a mile from us going into another field and sucked a lot of flights over there. We'd break some off, but it was good. I don't know. Around 50 snow, so nothing wrong with that. It was fun. This uh, is the best place to come hunting if you like to hunt geese. It's absolutely wonderful. The weather's been great. Setup is perfect. The weather was fantastic. So what more could you want? If you like to hunt fowl, this is the place to come. <laughs>